Hey there, here are the first things to do with an iPhone 16 or 16 Pro. Let's start by enabling Apple Intelligence and Siri. What we do is go to Settings and on this main menu, scroll down to Apple Intelligence and Siri. From here, we enable Apple Intelligence. Now we go to Talk to Siri. Enable this Press Side button for Siri. Enable Siri, and now when we press and hold the side button on the right side of the phone, we get a glow up and we can ask Siri a question. To clear this, just tap. We can also set up Siri the standard way, so it will respond to Hey Siri or Siri. And we can also now use ChatGPT to get better answers. Just go back. Scroll down this menu and you'll see Extensions ChatGPT. Select it and just here toggle on Use ChatGPT. If you have an account, you can sign in. Now let's put it to the test. Ask ChatGPT what is the capital of France? Capital of France is Paris. Très bien. Next up, let's go back to the home screen and do some customization. So, what we do is press and hold in a blank space. We'll go up to edit in the top left and customize. Now we have a menu at the bottom which will allow us to change the look and feel of the home screen. Let's start by pressing this sun icon and you can see it's gone a little bit darker. We have small and large, this will change the size of the icons and also take away the text. Just here we have light, we have dark mode, we have automatic and we have tinted which will allow you to customise the colour with sliders to give a different hue of the colour. We also have a droplet pen here which when you press you can select part of your background colour and use that as the basis of the shade. Once done, click away. If after some time you decide, nah, this is not for me, just go back, press and hold, go to edit, customise, go to light and go back to small. A new addition to the iPhone 16 is the camera button which is just on the right hand side of the phone. Now, when we press that button, it activates the camera. If we press and hold it, it will start recording until you release your finger. The camera button also gives you further options. If you gently tap it, you'll see an option. If you tap it twice, it will go to the top menu for that option. So as you can see on the top level, we have exposure, depth, zoom, camera, styles, and tone. To go into any one of these, we just press once and press twice to go back to the top. Let's go into zoom. I'll press once to go into the menu and I can also use my finger to zoom in and out and this will allow me to go further than the button can scroll. When I say button can scroll, it can scroll here to there. So it's a little bit finicky and there is an option which will make it a little bit more responsive to touch and I'll show you where that is. What we do is we go to settings and from here we are looking for, so you may need to go back to the main settings window, then go to camera, we go to camera control, then scroll down to the bottom we have accessibility and just here where it says light press force we want to change that to lighter. And this will make the button so much more responsive and so much easier to control. 
The camera button works in landscape and portrait, and you can also use it to activate an app. So if we go back into those settings, we are still in accessibility. So if we go back one level, we are in camera control, and you can see just here, currently I'm using camera, but you can also use it to open code scanner, Instagram, magnifier, or nothing at all. If you select Instagram, and it doesn't open, just go into the Instagram settings and make sure you've allowed it in there. And with regards to the camera on the iPhone 16 Pro, it will allow you to take photos up to 48 megapixels in size. To enable this, all we do is just go back to the main camera menu, then scroll down to formats. From here, we go to Pro Raw and Resolution Control. And here you can see Pro Raw Max. Now, if we go to take a photograph, we have an option at the top here which says Raw Max. All I do is tap that, and now this will take the higher quality photo. Just be aware it's going to take a lot more space, which may become a problem further down the line. And all of these photos, of course, are going to go to the photo app. Let's take a look at that now. As you can see, it's quite busy. They've added quite a few sections. Now, if you want to just make this a little bit more simpler and easier to get around, go right to the bottom and we have customize and reorder. Here we have all of those different sections. And if you wish, you can rearrange them. Let's say I want to move albums. I can drag that to the top. Oh, let's try that again. There we go. And let's say I don't want all of these other sections. There are just too many things going on. I just untick for more. Click X and that's how it looks. Another handy thing you can do is set up your apps to only open on Face ID. And this will keep away tempted fingers and prying eyes. So let's say for example, Call of Duty. I want to only have that open with Face ID. I press and hold the app, then require face ID. We have an option here which says require face ID. I tap it and now it's set up. Now of course you need to have face ID already set up and you can do that in settings and you can reverse this by reversing the action, press and hold, don't require face ID and that's done. Now let's say you want to hide that app, all we need to do is press and hold again require face ID and this time choose the second option which is hide and require face ID. We select it, hide call of duty, it does give us this warning that no notifications, calls or alerts will come through. If we're okay we just go hide app, it's disappeared. Where's it gone? If we go across to the right, scroll down to the bottom we have a hidden folder which again requires face ID and just here you can see the app. Next, let's go to the control center and add some handy buttons. Swipe from the top right corner, then press and hold this screen and go to add a control. Here we can do a search for Wi-Fi. Select it and it places it here. Let's also add record screen. So let's type in record. Now we can do screen recording and let's add one more which is low power mode for those times when you need to save battery. It's also possible to rearrange these, just press and hold the screen until it looks like this and just drag the icons around. Now if you get into a bit of a mess and it gets a little bit ropey, just click OK. Go to settings, go back to the main screen. We have the control center option and just go to reset control center. Now you can see it's back to how it was originally and you can start again. Okay, let's go to the Safari browser and go to one of my favorite things, which is hiding distracting items. As you can see, this is just a regular web page. 
Just in the title bar at the bottom, we have this icon here. So just tap that, then we have hide distracting items. Now, if there's an item you don't wish to see on your page, just press it, press hide, and it just disappears. I love that graphic. Let's do another one. I could actually do this all day. But we have other things to do. Next on the left hand side of the phone, we have the action button and this is just above the volume up and down. Action button there. When you press and hold it, by default it kicks in silent mode. Press and hold again and it comes alive. Now if we want to change that, just go to settings, go back to the main menu and it has its own menu here called action button. A very fancy graphic allows you to select what your action button does. So you can scroll through these options and select the one which suits you best. And if you want it to do nothing at all, go to the end and select no action. And finally, battery health is important for the longevity of your iPhone. Let's have a look at how we can make sure your battery lasts. We go to settings, let's come out of this menu. Then we go to battery, then to charging. And just here you can see the charge limit is 100%. Now it's a great idea if it's possible to reduce this. And all we need to do is drag this marker down to say 80 or 90 percent however it's not always suitable because you may need a longer life battery and you can choose between 85 90 95 100 once we select 100 percent we can also select optimized battery charging and what this does is it will charge to approximately 80 percent and just before you get up with your alarm it will top it up to 100 so you're ready to go so, those are my tips for your new iPhone, iPhone 16 Pro. Hope they've helped. Leave me a comment, drop me a like. Have a great day ahead.